Hello, welcome back. Chicken thighs on a pellet grill are amazing. Barbecue chicken thighs are even more amazing. And bite through skin is easy to do if you know how with a pellet grill. And we're going to show you in this video. Hit that subscribe button down there. Don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Check this out. As usual in this video, there's going to be a few things gadget-wise that will really help you do a better job more consistently. Links to everything will be in the description below. Let's get started. First thing we want to do is get the temperature set higher. We want to light this grill and get it up to temperature. I'm going to get it up to about 350 degrees. You want to have it at least at 300 degrees to start just to make sure you kill off any bacteria and crap on the grates. If you have a Camp Chef or one of the models with a direct heat setting, go ahead and move your slide over or set your grill to direct heat. This will help you get it started up faster, get it up to temperature faster, and sear better. Now that you got those grates good and hot, it's time to get them on for the sear. Woo! This is only going to take a few minutes skin side down. We're going to go a few minutes and give these little chicken thighs a quarter turn give them a few more minutes and then flip them over for the smoke part. So after a few minutes one way we're going to give these chicken thighs about a quarter turn to complete the sear on the skin side. Now if you have grill grates on your grill like these it's going to do a much better job. This is how you keep from getting that rubber chicken that a lot of pellet grills tend to get. You've got to sear the skin first. Cool the grill back down to get it back in a smoking temperature range. Part of cooling it back down is going to be to put this back to indirect heat and put the grill in shutdown mode. Shutdown mode? Seriously? Yep. Here's the deal. For 20 minutes, this thing's not going to feed any pellets. We're going to watch that grill temperature and watch it go down. That way we can lower the temperature of the grill into a smoking temperature range without having to go through anything fancy. And then we're just gonna run it right back to the regular temperature setting before it completes the shutdown cycle. Now while it's cooling down, we can go ahead and flip these over. We've seared the skin, that's complete. You can see those beautiful grill marks. And that skin is gonna be perfect. We're cooling the grill back down to a smoking temperature using the shutdown feature. And we're just about where I want it for this cook. Once you've got your grill down to the right temperature, go ahead and exit shutdown mode Go back to set temperature and set your temperature and your smoke for where you want it. I'm going to set this up in this case for 300 degrees and confirm your temperature. Hit your bypass button, confirm. This just fools the grill into thinking, well, okay, he changed his mind. Then we're going to set our smoke. If your grill has this capability, I'm going to set my smoke to about five. That ought to be plenty for chicken thighs. Now we're right back to smoking and check this out. Smoke's rolling and the grill's down to the proper temperature. That's about as easy as it gets. Pretty much all pellet grills come with some kind of probe. Pick an average size thigh, get the probe in there, not touching the bone, about midway. Plug it on up. Chicken thigh now is at 134. If you want those thighs to be perfect, timing of the sauce is critical. You want to make sure you sauce these things when they hit about 160 degrees so the sauce has time to set and also it acts as a braise to braise that chicken skin to give it that bite through consistency that everybody loves. When your probe tells you you're getting close to or you're at 160 and at one thigh, use a good instant read thermometer like this Maverick PT100 to check the rest of it. I'll put a link to this in the description below too. This is imperative. You've got to have a good thermometer. Yeah, I know you can do it by look, you can do it by feel, but if you want to be consistent, get a thermometer. That's pretty close. That's a smaller one. That's already hot, hot. That's right on there. So okay, so these things are ready for sauce. When you sauce those thighs, use a good silicone brush like this one. It'll help you put on a nice even coat of sauce just on the top. I'll put a link to this in the description below too. They're also really easy to clean later. You can leave your probe in at this point or take it out. I'm going to leave mine in because I want to make sure I get these things off at the right temperature. And you know not to be bashful with that sauce. I'm only saucing a few of these because my wife likes them naked. They have my Scott semi-famous chicken rub on them anyway, which makes them wonderful even without sauce. Look at that. It looks like an art project, doesn't it? Continue smoking them until you get to right around 180 degrees, then get those thighs off of there. 
If you have smaller thighs on the grill with the bigger thighs, you're going to have to get the smaller ones off first. Use your instant read thermometer to check those so you don't overcook them. Getting the little ones off a little early isn't going to hurt a thing. They're going to finish cooking while they're resting and they're probably done anyway. Now do me a favor and hit that thumbs up like button down there. Now what are we going to do while we're waiting for these things to finish smoking? I don't know, we'll think of something. Once you've hit that 180 degree mark, get them off of there. You should now have really good bite through chicken skin, wonderful set sauce, and that smoky kiss of flavor that you can only get from a pellet grill. Look at the color on those chickens. And those soft ones, look at that. That is perfection right there. For more mouthwater and pellet grill recipes, I'm going to put a link up there in the cards to a playlist with a whole bunch more pellet grill recipes for this cook. You're sure to get a lot of great ideas from those recipes. Check them out. So make sure you've given me that thumbs up like button down there. Hit the subscribe button down there. Don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Give me that thumbs up like button down. Much more recipe videos. Cook. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put a link up there in the car. I'm, yeah, damn it. Okay, I'll try again. Make sure you've given me that thumbs up like button down there. Try again. Make sure you've given me that thumbs up like button down there. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. We'll see you next time.